Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Margarita, and if you're not, hello, hi, and welcome back. I know it's been a while, and as you can see, my face is breaking out. I know, like, Shark Week is upon us. Ugh. Anyways, so for today's video, I am testing out the e.l.f. Putty Primer, and I'm also testing out the 16-hour Cameo Concealer from e.l.f. I'm really excited. These are two brand new products. I was finally able to get my hands on this, and Ulta just happened to be in stock with the concealer as well. I did have to get this shipped. Let's go ahead and see how all of this works. Before we get into the tutorial or to the try on makeup part, don't forget to like this video, subscribe and comment down below. And since you're down there, might as well hit the bell notification icon thingy so you can be notified every time I upload and yeah. All right guys, let's go. Okay, so I am trying the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer and yeah. So the directions, it says apply a thin, even amount to moisturize skin prior to makeup application. Allow to sit 30 seconds before applying foundation. Alright, that's fine by me. This product has 0.74 ounces. And I believe it, this is only like $7.99, $8.99. I don't remember. So this is what it looks like. It's pink. It's pretty. <laughs> we love pink. Whoa. I actually did not expect it to look like this, so... Oh, it has like a light rose smell, like hint to it. So I'm going to go ahead and scrape it. Look at how pretty it is. So I'm going to go ahead and scrape it. I don't want to scrape it. Oh, yep, I'm doing it. I did it. Oh, yep, it's happening. And I did it. Wow. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in. Oh, okay. Well. I'm gonna go ahead and put this where my pores are at. I do tend to have bigger pores right here. It says an even thin layer. Oh my god. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna massage this in. Anyways. So I tend to have pores like all in my nose. Like all in the T area. Like right here. Actually not even in the T. It's like the upside down T is where I have more of my pore problems at. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this everywhere. I see that it does have like a, what's it called? Like a tint to it, kind of-ish. Like, I don't know. It looks like there's a white, um, what's it called? Casting. White cast, I guess. So it says wait at least 30 seconds for it to sink in. And I'm gonna go ahead and wet my beauty blender and I'll be right back to apply the foundation. So I'm back and for today's foundation, I am using my favorite foundation at the moment. It is the Maybelline Fit Me. Um, not concealer. I always want to say concealer. The Fit Me Maybelline Matte Poreless Foundation. And this is in the shade 122 Creamy Beige. And I'm going to go ahead and apply this on this beauty blender. <laughs> like, look at how big this is. It's dirty. Don't mind that. I don't feel like getting a new one. But this blender, the sponge, is from Beauty Bakery. You get, what is it? If you buy the whole carton, I mean, literally, it's a carton of eggs but it's beauty blenders you get six beauty blenders for $18 which that retails you for about three dollars each and that's not bad compared to the original beauty blender that's twenty dollars one sponge no thank you a sponge is a sponge but I don't know so I'm going in and pounding this around she's probably not my shade because I did go to the beach and yeah, I got sunburned. Actually, that's kind of why I couldn't really film any videos as well. Wow. Oh my gosh. This is like, my foundation looks really good right now. Holy cow. Wait until I get to my nose. I want to see what that's going to look like. Wow, this looks really nice. Wow, 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 wow. But what was I saying? Something, something. Um. Oh yeah. No, while I was at the beach, like I got a gnarly sunburn. Like my back was sunburned. Or, like my butt cheeks were sunburned. Like I'm telling you, I was sunburned. My face right here was red. Like it was bad. Wow. I'm looking at the camera, but I'm looking at in the mirror. And holy cow, it looks like I have a filter on. Oh my gosh. Like, I haven't even applied any on my nose. It's only like on my cheek and chin area. And holy cow, I freaking love it. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to like order like three more. Wow. Yeah, so far, this foundation looks really good. It's not, not the foundation, excuse me. The primer is making the foundation look really good. <laughs> um, Like, honestly... 
I really don't see my pores. Like that is crazy. The next thing that I'm going to do is go in with the concealer and highlight some of my places here on my face. And I do have the Medium Peach Concealer. And this claims that it is 14 hours long wearing. Um, it says for directions, use the wand to apply concealer to desired areas. Pat out gently with your finger or a sponge for a smooth blend. This is what the concealer looks like. It's pretty big. It's actually decent. Like it's, like it's heavy. It feels heavier than my Maybelline one. This does feel heavy. Um, I don't know if it's because of like just the top or just like the case. It does feel like it's really pretty. It's like almost like it's in a glass jar or glass tube in a way. Like it's so freaking pretty. So that's heavy. And this has 0.203 fluid ounces, which is 6 ml. Now my Fit Me Maybelline Concealer, this is 0.23 fluid ounces and it's got 6.8 ml in it. So, so far this has more product than the e.l.f. does, but this does retail you for $5.99 and I believe this is $7.99 or $8.99. So, I guess you're just looking at it. I'm going to go ahead and open this up and this is in the shade Medium Peach. This actually looks pretty light, but I don't know, who knows? I mean, I do like the brightening effect as this is like, I don't know, this is so freaking crazy. This is clear, like fair and this is like, I don't know, it's, I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, so, okay, so it is a pretty thick dopa applicator, dopa, dopa applicator, question mark. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this under my eye bags, under my eye. Ooh. Whoa, <laughs> this might be a little too light for me. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply it here on my forehead, apply a dab on my chin, and then as well as going down my nose so I can contour it. This concealer smells nice. <laughs> wow, this is freaking light, 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 super light, very light, really light, but if, we will see. <laughs> this is almost like my winter, concealer I don't know we'll see wow that is very 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 white it looks really nice it's very brightening I think I used a little bit too much concealer but it's okay lesson learned you have to make a mistake in makeup in order to not do it next time I think I'm gonna be a bronzed queen today that's that's what I'm gonna be today wow I almost matched my shirt nice Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and put my polvo on, my powder, and I'm going to go ahead and bronze up this face, and I'm going to let you know, like, what it, how it looks. Like, so far, right now, my pores do not feel clogged whatsoever. It feels pretty lightweight on, um, like, even with the concealer. The concealer does have a pretty good amount of coverage on it, um... And honestly, the only thing I don't like about it, it's way too light, like super, super light, but it's okay. We can fix it. And yeah, I'll be right back when I finish up my face. All right, guys. So, wow. The lighting just looks, makes me look really white. So I don't look that white, I promise. <laughs> but anyways, um, so I did everything. I bronzed or I contoured really, didn't really bronze. I contoured, I put my powder on and everything. I wanted to wait on my blush and highlight. It just depends what I'm going to do with the eye look. And yeah, honestly, my face looks like it's got a filter on right. Like right now, it literally looks like I have a filter on my face and there's no filter on the video screen thing going on like legit like oh my gosh like my face actually looks really nice and really pretty but what i'm gonna do today i'm gonna do some check-ins so you guys can see like what's going on what's happening if my face ends up getting really greasy or if it stays in place and yeah i'll let you guys know what i like about it and i'll see you in the check-ins hi hi diego hi hi so this is makeup makeup check-in one. Um, we just finished bowling and all that and playing pool. I don't look too bad. I don't look too greasy as normal. Well, you're beautiful, mommy. Aww. You never look ugly. Aww. Aww. Bye. 
Okay, anyways, but yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, makeup looks good. I don't look greasy. The pores, my pores still look, my pores look pretty good. Mine too. <laughs> Diego? Uh, okay. Yeah, that's all I got there. Alright, I'll see you in the second check in. Bye! Bye! Okay, so I'm back with my check in too, my final check in, really. Um, Honestly, my pores, they really don't look that bad. They look pretty good. I mean, my face is a bit greasy. It's because, like, I'm sweating. The house is really hot. My dad turned the AC off, and it's because it's supposed to get, like, really, really cold. But anyways, it's okay. Um, but the concealer, I really liked it a lot. Um, it is really, really, really light. Like, I was going to get a lighter shade than that, but I was kind of like, no, let's go ahead and grab this one. But, oh my gosh, I have to switch that shade out. Hopefully I can. If not, I'll probably use that to, like, cut my crease and everything. You know, I don't know. But, um, yeah, so far, I really like the the putty primer. The concealer as well. I'm going to go ahead. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to talk to Ulta and see if I can switch it out or i'm just gonna go ahead and buy a new one a darker shade than that obviously <laughs> but um yeah all right guys i hope you enjoyed watching this video and let me know what you guys want to see next don't forget to like this video comment down below and subscribe as well and i will see you guys in the next video bye yeah.